In this video, I'm going to talk you through a Pearson Lightbook Science chapter. I'll show you the content features and how to use them. First, you'll need to select a chapter from the table of contents. In your Science Lightbook, every chapter has an overview, modules, a summary, and a glossary. In the chapter overview, you'll find the Before You Begin section. This will help you check whether you have the prerequisite knowledge and skills for the chapter. Complete the questions to practice these skills before you start learning new ones. If you need additional practice, you can explore the interactive activities and videos provided. The chapter overview also contains the curriculum-based learning outcomes. Read these to familiarise yourself with the things you can expect to learn in the chapter. Next, we'll look at a module. The modules are where you'll find most of the chapter content. A chapter generally contains two to five modules. Let's have a look at module 8.2. Modules are divided into two tabs, content and review. As you read through the content, you'll come across a number of interactive features. Worked examples are a feature that show you how to solve a problem step by step. On the left is the thinking, which explains the thinking behind each step. On the right is the working, which shows you how to work through the related calculations. After you have worked through the understand section of the worked example, you can then have a go at a similar problem in the try yourself. In try yourself worked examples, some parts of the working have been left blank for you to complete. If you don't know the answer for a step, you can ask for help. Checkpoints are another interactive feature you'll find in the content. Each checkpoint contains questions that allow you to apply what you have just learned. Select the instruction to show the interactive part of the question. If you answer a question incorrectly, the help will remind you of the key concepts you need to know to answer correctly. First, you will be shown a hint. Read this and have another go at the question. If you still don't get the correct answer, most questions will have a second hint to help you. If you're still finding the question is tricky, you can have a look at the answer. As you work through your module, you'll find videos and interactive activities to support your learning. To load, select play on the interactive. Once it's loaded, you can play the videos. This interactive contains a slideshow, two videos, and an activity for you to complete. Enter your answers for the activity and then select the green button for feedback. If you are marked incorrect, you can select the green button again to change your answers. If you want to reset the entire activity, select the red button. As you read through the content, you'll notice some of the keywords are highlighted. You can select these to pop up the glossary definition for the term. If you switch over to the Review tab, you'll find Summary Notes, which summarise the key concepts from the module. You'll also find Module Review Questions, which give you an opportunity to practise what you have just learned in the module content. As for the checkpoints, select the question instruction to open the question and then complete it. Select Save to check your answer, and you can use the help if you need extra support. After the modules, every chapter also has a summary, which contains a summary of the key learning from the chapter, several summary tasks, and the chapter review questions. The chapter review questions consolidate your learning of all of the concepts covered in the chapter. Most are auto-corrected, but there are also some long answer questions for you to complete. You won't get instant feedback on these questions. Instead, they will be marked by your teacher. Have a go at answering them on your own. If you need to, you can use the hints to help you. And if you still need more help, you can look at the sample answer. Before I finish, I'm going to show you the student resources. In the unit resources, you'll find useful tools and documents, such as the formulae and data booklet. There are also content PDFs, which are simple PDF versions of each chapter. Many of the chapters also have related practical activities in the form of Spark Labs. 
There are instructions on how to use these in the Lightbook help documentation. I hope you enjoy using this Pearson resource. For additional help with using this product, visit www.pearsonplaces.com.au help.